Yeah, I think we're live, folks. Yeah. And or oh, Facebook live? No, we're YouTube live. And for some reason, my metahuman character just froze. What do I do? Whatever. I never seen that kind of glitch. But yeah, we're live. I'm your host, Mike Pew of the Virtual Intel channel, and I'm trying to kind of troubleshoot why the face went crazy and froze. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, we're we're trying to do a bug fix um, for the metahuman character. So if you got into UE5 and metahuman creator and you recently got the update, I don't know if you recently got the update or you, this is brand new to you, you just got started. Your metahumans are probably acting like this. See how the mouth goes crooked and gets really weird so if you want to get a fix for that i got a fix for it i checked a bunch of forums out there on the internet and through unreal engines website and i found a fix now the basic fix for it is you go to an unreal engine 4 actual project so you got to go to the old projects in unreal engine 4 if you got rid of those projects for whatever reason like i did before you found that this issue had a fix then you probably are like stuck like how i got stuck and you probably don't know how to get back to get an unreal engine for his projects now i noticed that the quicksell bridge which is required to do a lot of the metahuman stuff it got up updated multiple times and so is not allowing me to bridge the old ue4 stuff from metahumans over to unreal engine but let me get, let me go real quick and show you what i'm talking about in terms of wow. the fix that you can work on today you're going to have to go to ue4 project so let's go over to hold on one second we're going to go to the unreal launcher epic games launcher i should say and go to library so make sure you got epic games on your computer if you don't have this it's probably not going to work out for you i also have an update so the update might actually do some sort of fixing i don't know for sure but we'll do this first we're not going to go into the update there's an update for ue5 so what you want to do is hit the plus to add an actual ue4 if you don't have it showing up here in your epic games launcher so you want to run the latest one of ue4 which is 4.27 that's what i recommend don't worry about 4.26. I don't think that one will help too much, but it probably can. But I use 4.27. You're going to hit launch. And when you launch it, it's going to show up in your My Projects area. And you're going to go and double click the MetaHumans one. And the reason why I have this one known as MetaHumans is because I started out creating a project from within this vault here. So how I got my project in the vault. You have to go to marketplace and type in metahuman so it might not show up right away but uh you just type in metahuman i did this all the way back when metahumans first started around 2021 last year around january so this is the one right here it's it just says metahumans the other ones are metahuman lighting and metahuman plugin now the most recent update on UE5 requires you to have MetaHuman plugin if you really want to do the newer stuff that's going on. So if you want to use the UE5's older version of the MetaHumans, you can do that, but I recommend for you to move forward by using the MetaHuman plugin cuz then you can create stylized characters, you can really create unique mesh to MetaHuman characters and that's what this actual bug fix is for. So if you don't have the MetaHuman plugin, what I'm talking about today may not apply to you. So make sure you have your MetaHuman plugin already installed on your Unreal Engine and through Unreal Engine itself. So it should be installed, tied in, and activated as well. So I'll show y'all folks how to activate it if you haven't learned how to do that. But we'll do that once I get into the project side. But for now, we're just going to talk about this. So you hit this, basically click it, and then you try to create a project if you haven't or you um have to install it 
so it may not be installed yet downloaded etc so you do that and then you can go to library and create the project from here as well when you hit create project make sure it says 4.27 where it says version uh, of engine of the engine for the project so make sure you create it and then put it in a documents folder that's what I recommend in your default documents folder unreal projects and then you want to name it whatever you want so that way you can remember what the actual project was when you look for it on your computer because you're gonna have to look through your desktop or laptop computers folders and to perform this bug fix so once you do that create is going to show up I'm gonna put don't create for now but it's going to show up here where it says my projects then you double click it I already double clicked it I already got it open actually no I don't have it open so you can double click it and open it that's if you want but you really don't need to do that for this bug fix but if you double click it it will open up in a new project then you can go in and check into the folders and stuff like that just to see what you need now the folder that you're gonna find hold on one second that was a little error the folder that you're gonna find is known as mocap and I'm gonna show you the location of the mocap folder you you're required to take this folder copy it and overwrite the UE5 mocap folder but I'll show you where it, where it's located so we're gonna go into my documents unreal projects and then I'm gonna find it in metahumans metahumans then I'm gonna go to content then I'm gonna go to sample metahumans then I'm gonna go to common I'm gonna click common again and then mocap is gonna show up right there you want to right click this folder well click select it so it highlights left click it so it highlights and then right click it and copy you copy that folder this is a UE4 folder for a mocap and then you can paste it maybe over here on your desktop or whatever doesn't matter but as long as you copy it you're able to utilize it now we have to gain access to a UE5 project character the Buzz Lightyear dude all right I'll get rid of this character too all right so this one should be a clean project I should be able to perform it with no problem yeah booby no all right so yeah so this character has the mouth issue as you can see hey guys all right so we're gonna work on this project for some reason the other one might be somewhat corrupted because I, I did too much work on it probably we're gonna go through this one when you first start your render um hands one content metahumans common common and then this this folder we're gonna replace mocap so let me shut this one down save selected and we going why is this thing doing that wow this thing is acting weird the launcher all right so I just now replaced it and now let's go back library hands one video is gonna come out of the video and it should come up I gotta go soon folks so keep that in mind I'll be leaving probably about five minutes or so gotta take my wife somewhere so all right so now we'll just test to see if it simulates hello hello see now the mouth doesn't move so this is what I was supposed to be showing y'all folks before I had technical difficulties so we're gonna maximize so if you have this issue after you did the mocap folder adjustment thing like you tried to not adjustment but you tried to override the mocap thing and you're not getting the mouth motion let's show you what to do so we're gonna go to content drawer um go to my metahumans common common mocap 
and here goes the four files. We're going to go MH arc error kit mapping anim. Double click it and it says could not find the skeleton. So would you like to choose one? You hit yes. And then from here, you got to find the face archetype skeleton. Select that. It says face underscore archetype underscore skeleton and then select OK. Then it puts it should put his head in there. As you can see. For some reason, the other one was kind of messed up. And this is it here. This is the skeleton. So um, from that point, you shouldn't have to worry about too much other than that. But you have one more that you have to work on. So we're going to go content drawer, air kit mapping pose, double click that one, which is the pose. Air kit underscore mapping underscore pose. Hit yes. Do the same thing face archaea type skeleton okay now that you got both of them in there it should technically work out so also what i did i had to do uh retargeting setup through here which is not big time all you have to do is do retarget mode enabled make sure your iphone is linked in through live link and the head is linked and then it should work from here Hit simulate and boom. Now the lips is fixed. See? Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? I got it working. Blah, 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 blah. Now, if you have issues with the hair or any of the texture stuff like the eyebrows, the beard, mustache, if any of it drops and falls off, what you have to do is go into the bindings and plug the bindings back in for the assets. So what I mean by that is we're going to stop it. We're going to go to details, look up the face, edit in blueprint, like I said. But um, I'll show you more. But uh, let's see. You go over here to the face. You go check the eyelashes, the fuzz, the eyebrows. And you, you can select those mustache, beard. And you would have to say if anything's broken, it's not showing, like it's not attached. You double click it. Say his beard wasn't attached. He, he actually got beard, a beard, a little small, tiny one. So you would look through the groom, which is over here. And the binding asset for, for this particular groom might be missing. So you have to hit this little folder or the down arrow and then find different grooms that might fit and just try every single one that fits for the beard and one might actually go in and replace it and once you replace it you hit compile and save and it should reattach or the same thing with the hair the same thing with the um the the fuzz so meaning like this fuzz around the face you know little tiny hairs and stuff like that that might detach as well eyelashes whatever other than that, I'm out of here. Your 11 piece tall. Mike Pew signing off. Hopefully this helped you to some degree. I'm going to show y'all folks um, a fix on the MetaHuman lighting one, which has a lot of these issues that I'm talking about in terms of the binding stuff. And there's a really cool fix for that. In It's like a code that you have to change and adjust in the, what is it? Default engine dot I N I which is something that you would have to find and locate and correct. But other than that, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all folks next time. Feel free to share this with other people if you feel it's going to help them and to fix this issue. But I'm out. Peace.